Hello everyone and welcome to the School of Serenity. In this video, I want to share with you my thoughts on dopamine fasting. I'm going to be talking about three main topics. One, what dopamine fasting is. Number two, how it relates to mental health. And number three, what are its benefits? What is dopamine fasting? Dopamine is a neurotransmitter involved in our brain system for motivation, reward, and pleasure. When we encounter something like a delicious cupcake or we receive likes on our Facebook posts, dopamine gets released in the brain. Dopamine by itself is not harmful. However, the challenge is that in modern society, we have become habituated to higher levels of dopamine. So we feel the need to seek out ever higher doses of stimulation to achieve the same pleasurable effects. The idea behind dopamine fasting is that we may be getting too much of a good thing in today's attention economy and we need to carve out time without stimulation from things that can become addictive like smartphones, TV, internet, gaming, shopping, gambling so that we can regain control over how we spend our time. There are different forms of dopamine fasting but the common format is that you cannot eat or drink anything apart from water or use the internet, use your phone, your computer or TV or any other screens or technology during a certain time period. You also cannot listen to music or radio, have sex or masturbate and you are encouraged to keep reading and talking to a minimum. How does dopamine fasting relate to mental health? The main mental health implication is that we are addicted to dopamine. We are used to getting so much of it all the time that we end up just wanting more and more. As a result of this, activities that used to be pleasurable become mundane and boring. In other words, frequent stimulations of Dopamine gets the brain's baseline higher and forces us to continuously seek new sources of dopamine. For example, we are all overloaded by social media distractions because we constantly get dopamine hits. Dopamine fasting can help us reduce desires and cravings for unhealthy and even unwanted behaviors. The practice is intended to be an exercise in self-control to show us that we distract ourselves on a daily basis through impulsive behaviors reinforced by dopamine. Dopamine fasting will give us an opportunity to realize and acknowledge that we continuously engage in certain behaviors as a form of coping mechanism. What are the benefits of dopamine fasting? I'm going to cover five top dopamine fasting benefits in this part of the video. Number one, developing self-discipline. Self-discipline is one of the most important skills and is essential in every area of life. Self-discipline means self-control, which is a sign of inner strength and control of yourself and your reactions. This skill gives you the power to stick to your decisions and follow them without changing your mind. It is one of the most important requirements for achieving your goals and carrying out tasks. Self-discipline is a skill that leads to self-esteem and confidence and consequently to happiness and satisfaction. Though most people acknowledge its importance, few 
do something to strengthen it. Particularly in modern fast-paced life, we are bombarded by distractions that are competing for our attention. Responding passively and mindlessly to these types of distractions over time erodes our self-discipline. Dopamine fasting is an attempt to turn the tide on this trend, basically by avoiding stimuli like smartphone notifications and also exposing ourselves to uncomfortable feelings without giving in to the temptation to distract ourselves, we can rebuild our self-confidence. Number two, increased awareness of our addictions. Many times our habits become so repetitive that we do not recognize that we have addictions. Abstaining from the common pleasurable activities gives us an opportunity to discover the type of habitual activities we are engaged in. The pleasures that we crave the most are going to show us our weaknesses. These are the exact behaviors that we need to work on to uncover why we are so addicted to them. Addictions serve as a distraction from the real source of unhappiness. We tend to rely on short-term gratifications that our addictions provide to turn our consciousness away from the root cause of our anxiety. Dopamine fasting helps us look inward and analyze our hidden urges to distract ourselves. It is a time of self-reflection and self-discovery. Dopamine fasting provides us with an opportunity to take on our inner demons. Number three, increases productivity and focus. Another benefit of dopamine fasting is that by taking a break, we will become more focused and productive when we go back to work on our projects. Denying the brain the dopamine-derived pleasure of modern-day temptations helps us regain control, sharpen focus, and improve productivity. Dopamine fasting increases our productivity because it reduces our impulsive behaviors over time. By exposing ourselves to negative feelings of anxiety, boredom, or loneliness, but not giving in to them by grabbing our phones or eating sugary snacks, we build the muscles we need to increase our focus and productivity. Number four, helps us correct compulsive behaviors. The main idea behind dopamine fasting is that by allowing ourselves to feel lonely or bored or to find pleasure in doing simpler and more natural activities, we will regain control over our lives and will be able to address compulsive behaviors that may be interfering with our happiness. Dopamine fasting can curb addictive behaviors and make daily life more pleasurable, something that religious traditions have for millennia encourage people to develop. Instead of automatically responding to our reward-inducing behaviors, which provide us with an immediate but short-lived charge, dopamine fasting allows our brains to take breaks and reset from our compulsive behaviors. Number five, increases pleasure of simple things. It is true that when the brain or body are overloaded with a chemical, that chemicals receptors can become overexerted. As a result, the receptors either become desensitized to the chemical or get sucked back into the cell and are no longer accessible. A classic example of this is insulin resistance. During dopamine fast, we give ourselves a tolerance break so that the pleasures of whatever we are depriving ourselves of 
will be more intense or vivid when consumed again. In other words, the practice of dopamine fasting enhances the pleasure for things that we give up during the fasting period. For example, staining from drinking coffee increases appreciation for it after the fast is over. I hope that you liked this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, please add them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like the video and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Stay serene, take care, and thank you.